Uh, just to give a, a little bit of an introduction, my name is Tim Kempton. Um, I'm with NCSA, National Collegiate Scouting Association. We're out of Chicago, uh, Chicago, Illinois. My basketball background, I grew up in, in, in New York on Long Island. Uh, played, uh, played a small little high school, St. Dominic's High School. We won the state championship three years in a row. I was a McDonald's All-American. I was a uh, New York Player of the Year coming out my senior year. Went to the University of Notre Dame, played there all four years. Was drafted by the LA Clippers in the sixth round. I was 124th pick when I was coming out of Notre Dame. Stuck around, played eight years in the NBA and eight years in Europe. Why am I telling you guys? Because it makes me feel good, you know? My, my playing days are over, guys. I'm done. I'm finished. But I, want, I just want to let you know, I've been where you guys are. I've been where you want to go, okay? So, so if you have any questions throughout this whole situation, just ask. I've been there. I've done that. And, and, and the great thing about basketball, you know, I, this is the second time in my life that I've been to Kansas City. But I came in here, walked over, said hello to a couple of people. What was the first thing we started talking about? Started talking about how, what we did as a player, where we played, who we played against, who we know, who's doing this, who's doing that. Basketball is a phenomenal, phenomenal game. And, and, and the whole part, the whole point behind NCSA is we want you guys to be able to continue your basketball career as long as, as possible. As long as possible. What does NCSA do? We match college coaches with qualified student athletes. We match college coaches with qualified student athletes. And how do we do that? We do that through guidance, and we do that through exposure. Guidance and exposure. It's very simple. One of the things that, that, that we did was come up with this little, little brief pamphlet here uh, that makes it very simple for people to understand what, what, what the possibilities are and what the, po the things you need to do. And we've called it five things you need to know, five things you must do. Five things you need to know, five things you must do. And I'll, it's very simple. I'll go right through it. At, at the recruiting stage, it mostly uh, freshmen and sophomores, right? Uh, we have juniors and seniors. You have some juniors and seniors, okay. The first thing that we talk about is the recruiting process started yesterday. You know, a lot of, a lot of kids think today that, uh, that, that recruiting starts, oh, when you're a senior, when, college, co when uh, college coaches can come out and watch you play. Nope, not anymore. Landscape has changed. College recruiting has changed. A lot of it is due to resources, time and money. Time and money. Coaches don't have a lot of time, and they're losing money left and right every year at every level of sports. So the recruiting process starts a lot sooner. Seventh, eighth, ninth grade, they identify kids that have the potential, and they follow them through their high school careers. So is it too late? No, I don't believe it's ever too late. It's just a matter of the younger guys. The sooner you get started, the more opportunities that you will have out there later on in life. And that's, the, that, that's part of the whole situation right now. The things that you do right now will help you later on in life with opportunities. So the better decisions, the better, the better things that you take care of right now, the fundamentals that you set up right now will help you later on in life. One of the things, if, if you do nothing else today, and, and, and Reggie, I want to, and Coach, I want I, I to see if, if you can follow up with these kids on this one thing. If you guys look down at that, that first page, if you go through with me, look down there, we've got number five on top, the advice down there where it says, download and study a copy of the guide for the college bound student athlete. All you guys have a pen there, very easy. Go to the library, go anywhere, go to the computer at home, ncaa.org, ncaa.org, and download a copy for the guide for the college bound student athlete. If you guys do nothing else, if you, if you get nothing else from this from this talk today, I want everyone, and if you guys can follow up, maybe have them, have them bring it in. Have them bring a copy. It's 24 pages long. This year's kit just came out, 2009, 2010. And what it does, it gives, you, it gives you the background, it gives you the basis and the fundamentals that you need to go on and play at the next level. That's not just Division I. It's Division II, Division III, NAIA, Junior College. Okay, that's what a lot of people don't understand. Everybody thinks of college basketball, Division One. 
Well, yeah, that's great, but there are 1.5 million kids roughly playing high school basketball. The number goes down to 80,000. So from 1.5 million, it goes down to 80,000 to play at the next level. And that's every level. That's Division 1, 2, 3, everything that I just said. And only 8,000 of those student athletes are playing at the Division 1 level. So there are a whole lot of opportunities. That means 72,000 72, other student athletes are playing basketball at some other level besides Division 1. Recruiting list starts with verified information and purchase lists. NCSA is, is through its guidance, is one of those people that develops a list. We have in-house scouts. We have in-house people that, that evaluate talent. Again, you get back to resources, college coaches. They don't have the time and money to go out anymore. Right now is an open period. Right now is an open time. There's, there's a huge tournament going on in Vegas right now, and there's a big tournament going on down in Orlando, Florida. I guarantee you, you find any coach in the, in the country, Division I, two, three, they either have somebody in Vegas or, and they're in Orlando or vice versa. That's where it is going on right now. So what has happened? The NCAA is taking the time. When I was growing up, they'd be out there every day. Every day. When I was, when I was going to camp growing up, there'd be a college coach working it. Why to make money? Heck no, so we can see you guys in a situation all week long. He wants to see you play. Well, the NCAA took that away. There are open times and closed times. And there's more closed times 